Welcome back to another review. I've got a torch in today, the MR50 made via Rofis and this was sent in via Bantac for review so I'm going straight into the packaging just to give you an idea on some of the features with this torch. 2,500 lumens, we also have a power bank feature with this and this is your power level so we have four power levels on this torch and they've also included some of the drop down times in that some of the makers don't normally do that now first thing I notice with this particular body is just how compact it is I've put all the details on the screen for you it's really not much bigger than a compact 18650 torch so it's quite a small design and it's using that newer 21700 cell so we're hoping to get some good results off the capacity there's your micro USB charging port under the flap and they've also got a recessed uh, button which is uh, grooved molded in a slight curved shape and notice the grooves on the body there's some really good knurling on this particular body plenty of grip with that and you'll notice that you also have straight lines which does help a bit to stop it rolling around just unscrew the base cap and you've got quite a beefy spring on that that's gold plated and this is the 21700 cell now the this is a protected cell so it's slightly longer I put the size on screen 75 mil versus the 70 on the night core that you can see now there is quite a wide contact point inside and this means that you can use unprotected cells so I'm putting the night core in the torch and it's working away perfectly no rattle with that thanks to that spring I think which helps keep the cell in place now as far as 18650 cells go um, I've just got a night core one here you can use them in the torch protected ones but what happens is you don't have a spacer included so it can move around a bit do note I've also put the battery level indicator on the screen there so you can see that it will show you either the red or the green so that's something I would have included as a spacer for 18650s um, but you can use them they do stay in place notice the stainless steel bezel which has that gunmetal finish and they're using an XHP 50.2 LED with texture reflector you'll also see that coating on the lens now uh, standard accessories is a wrist strap two spare o-rings and you get an extra port cover for the micro USB port there's a braided cable charging cable and there's an adapter here so you can use it as a power bank this isn't something unique to this torch you can do that with basically any device but they have included it with this so onto the holster pretty standard for a Rofus holster it's quite decent You've got the elasticated size with neoprene padding front and back and also got your belt loop there uh, with the popper and the d-ring nothing dramatic with this but it's perfectly fine for a holster on a torch it's decent enough and it's not too big just put the torch inside so a decent fit although it does work best head up rather than head down just to show you what you get included there's your warranty card and the user guide i will go over that very shortly let's start with the user interface so single press on off you have a memory for the three power levels and not the turbo and you just push and hold to cycle through the power levels a bit like some of the o light torches that i've looked at that works fine for me um, it won't remember the turbo though that's the only thing with the mode memory so if you want to get to the turbo uh, you just double press if it's on or off you'll be able to get to the turbo mode so that's quite useful to have that uh, some torches it's only when they're on so this covers the on and off so you can get to the turbo uh, there's no instant access to low but don't really see that problem with the mode memory and uh, the location beacon on the side switch push and hold for a couple of seconds and it will just flash just to let you know uh, where the torch is useful if you might drop it or you've got it stashed somewhere in a dark place and you just push it a bit longer to get into the lockout mode so it's useful to have the lockout mode you can also twist the tail cap which will break the connection because the threads are anodized now to get to strobe triple press takes you directly into the strobe from on or off again and then you just push and hold for a second to switch between the two modes uh, a second or longer and it cycles between the two so UI is pretty good don't have any complaints I have to admit I quite like the design on this because it's a, a single uh, a whole piece is single molded so there's not an extra part for the head so that should help with the heat distribution it does get fairly warm on the turbo 
but um, the heat regulation means it never gets super hot and comparing its size here to the Claris is quite a bit smaller the XT11X and it's not much bigger than the Concept 1 which is a pretty small torch in its own right and you've got that extra capacity battery so the charging speeds on this are about 1.7 amps I was getting and I had to do a charge capacity test because I can't fit this in the X-Star charger so it was just under the 5000 do bear in mind that the discharge probably a bit less and it terminated at 4.18 volts so no problems there if you're using it as a power bank getting about an amp touch under the 5 volts though but you also get that LED LED indicator to tell you how much capacity is left in the battery and that's quite useful so that's all on the screen for you to look at cutoff voltage 2.95 so it won't completely drain unprotected cells if you use them so no problems on that side of things now waterproof test half an hour didn't see any problems on that and I'm just going to show you the user guide now on the screen just in case I've missed anything or you want to pause that and just have a little look through I had to scan that in on the computer just to show you now we'll start off with some of the beam shots medium at 300 lumens moving up to the high at 1200 notice this slightly warm on the tin compared to some torches and the turbo is 2500 lumens so fairly wide-ish spread on this it's a mixed beam compared to the Claris XT11X it's slightly more concentrated there isn't a big difference in the power output between these two so I'm going to run through my usual beam shots and we're going to come back at the end with a conclusion on this torch <laughs> You'll be able to see from the beam shots that it doesn't hold its turbo mode for that long which probably isn't surprising considering it's a very small torch but um, the output is actually very good for the size and I do like the fact that you have that 21700 battery which gives you longer run times by quite a bit compared to an 18650 you've got fast charging speeds and I like the beam pattern as well a bit of range and a bit of spread plus you've got that power bank function which is going to be useful with a high capacity cell like that. Um, niggles for me would be would have liked an extra mode 
for a moonlight that way they could have moved up the um, next power level a bit more evenly that would have really made a difference to me I think that's quite useful to have a moonlight mode there is PWM on the lowest output didn't see it on any other power levels and I perhaps would have included an 18650 spacer because even though you can't use a turbo unless you use high drain cells you it's mapped out of the user interface so I don't see that as a problem would have been handy as a backup um, but you can just put the cells in there so overall it's a good torch I like it particularly the unibody design the single molded piece just a couple of areas where I think it could have been perhaps slightly better thanks for watching the video and I will catch up with you soon